Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, like I said in my last video, I was going to be answering you guys' questions. Um, I waited a couple days to see if I would get more responses. So now it's been three days and I haven't gotten any more responses other than one person. Um, so the only person that replied back was um, somebody called James Johnson. Um, and I have the um, comment right here. So I'm going to be answering his questions. Um, so yeah, let's see what he said. So he said, what is your morning routine like with your kids? So my morning routine is just varies. Every day is different. Although I like to think it's the same. It's really not. It just depends on like what moods my kids are in when they wake up, what mood I'm in, um, what mood my husband is in when, when he wakes up. It all depends on like the emotions and like if I'm not in the mood to do something, you know, like one day and then he'll take over and then like stuff like that. So it just depends. Every day is different. So it, it varies from like me doing something for them or him doing something for them or them fighting or them being away from each other, not really interacting a lot and or getting along. Like it just depends. Every day is different. Every morning is different. So next question. Um, when do you find time to be alone? Um... My time to be alone is mostly at night when the kids are asleep and um, whenever it's Isaac's nap time. So that's around like 12.30 to 1 p.m. That's my downtime. And right now I, ha I managed to have a little bit of time to myself because I asked my husband to watch them over there in the living room. <laughs> They're watching um, the movie Coco, um, which is an amazing movie. Um, but yeah, that's, my, that's when I get to be alone. Um, do you lock your kids out of the bathroom just to have five minutes alone like I do um there has been times that I've done that in the past but I haven't done it um recently so yeah um I haven't done that but there's times where I have done it where I just cannot do it anymore and I just have to run away from everything and everybody and I just just kind of drop things the way they are I don't even say that I'm gonna be alone I'm just like I'm out of here like I just go in and close myself out pretty much right so next question is what is your favorite thing to cook for the family and do you ever shop for groceries and shorts and sandals um which is kind of a funny question but yes i do i have shopped in shorts and sandals um in the florida keys because that's where i used to live um and but now in the, in where i'm living now in texas is really not so much because i don't know like people just hear like i don't know here's a little bit different i don't know why but um, what is my favorite thing to cook? I don't really cook a lot. I don't really know how to cook a lot. And I'm just being completely honest. I don't know how to cook a lot of things. But I do know how to cook rice. Like white rice, beans, um, like chicken, and eggs. So like that mixture. Usually the, the thing that I do is like white rice with beans. Either black beans or um, like kidney beans or the brown rice the, not the brown rice I'm sorry the brown the brown beans I can't think straight um, with eggs and that mixed together with the eggs and then bananas and that's the Cuban that's a Cuban um, dish so yeah um, okay next question is it okay to put a movie on for the little ones so you can have a small nap yes um I have done I mean, I've done this a lot when I'm, like, exhausted in the morning and Isaac is awake at, like, 7 a.m. because he's done that before. And I'm just, like, dead because I go to sleep late so I can have time for myself at night. So I go to sleep around 12.30 to 1 a.m. And then he wakes up at 7. So And, and then he wakes me up th throughout the night, too. So I just, like, I'm tired. So he wakes up at 7. And so, yeah, there's times where I just put him on my phone and I put YouTube on for him, like, YouTube Kids. And then he stays on there for, like, a good 30 minutes, 30, like, something up to an hour, I think. And yeah, so yes, I think it's okay as long as you have, you know what I mean? Like as long as there's somebody else in the house and the kid's not just like doing whatever they want. You know what I mean? Like as long as they're not in danger. So, um, so hope, okay. So then he says, I hope I could keep going, but I hope you get these things for posting. Thank you for posting what you do. So yeah, that's all the questions that James Johnson had for me. He had quite a bit of questions, so that's cool. He made it. He made me be able to make a little video for you guys. Um, so if you guys have any more questions, 
um, about my life or whatever, um, or any video suggestions that you think that would be cool for me to do. Um, I was thinking about doing kind of like my, uh, my life story kind of because um, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff I could talk about about my life, but I just have to, um, find the time to, um, to do the videos. So, yeah, um, like right now I'm only limited to like five to ten minutes and, um, m um, my life video would be much, much more, um, longer than that. So, so yeah, that is pretty much all it is all that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So thank you for watching and, um, little update on my anxiety if you guys want to know how I'm doing um yesterday I went and got my TB TB test done for my um hospital internship thing and it's right there can you see it yeah so obviously it's negative because it's not bumpy at all as you can tell like when I turn my arm it's not bumpy so it's negative it's just bruised because the lady oh my god the lady jammed the needle into my arm I swear to god it hurts so bad okay <laughs> so yeah so it's bruised but um so yesterday my anxiety was really really it was, it was up there but I managed to like just think reasonably that's what I was, what I do to get myself through um moments where I just feel like I'm about to go into a panic attack you know so I just I was thinking, you know, like, reasonably, like, it's okay, everybody does this, like, it's fine, it's not gonna be bad, like, it's gonna be okay. Um, because I think about all the side effects, all the bad things that could happen, and I, like, it's just, that's just me. I think about all the bad things first, and then the good things afterwards, so that doesn't really help me, but, yeah, so I've been managing my stress levels, and I've been, whenever I get stressed out, I listen to, like, relaxing music, or I try to meditate, and stuff like that. Um... So yeah, I feel like I've been doing better. Um, my dissociation has gone down quite a bit. Although when I talk about my dissociation, it comes back. So like I, something in your brain, you know, like I'm like, oh, I'm perfectly fine. And then like all of a sudden you bring back the dissociation, like the feeling of disconnection and everything. And you're like, and your brain is like, oh shit, that's what it felt like. Hey, you forgot about that. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut this video off because it's getting kind of long and I don't edit these videos. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about, um, my life after, uh, abuse Barone or whatever, or, um, or you're just interested in my life, I guess. Um, yeah. So remember, please leave me a comment below, um, asking for like, uh, me to do things like video suggestions and, um, questions if you have any um yeah so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a beautiful day and please remember to keep positive and meditate and everything will be okay and if you guys need to vent please vent down below so i can reply to you guys okay all right bye guys